hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to show you guys how i achieved this blonde color so this hair is from yolissa hair um 13 by 4 24 inches you're gonna need the wig a bucket um some purple shampoo or conditioner and then your colors i'm using the color charm 8 and 11 um and then the 9 and 9 one one and then some 30 volume developer um and then you'll just need something to mix your colors in so to start off i'm just gonna go in by putting some warm water in this bucket um and we're going to tone this wig before we color it so we're just gonna put a little bit of the purple shampoo in and mix it together to turn the water purple and then you'll just dunk the wig in there submerge it and brush through and just make sure that you know all strands of the wig is getting covered by this purple water now this will help um if you're going for like a pale like pastel -y type color this will really help with it i recommend doing this with all your 613 units because when you get it it's super yellow as you see and then now doing this after dunking it in the purple water you see how much more pale it is and how it take like took out the harsh yellow tones in it um so yeah and then now we're just gonna go in with the color. So the first color I'm doing is this 8N811, and I'm doing one part color and then two parts um, developer. You don't need a 30 developer. You can get a 20 and be fine. I just had 30 at, how, at my house, so I just used it. And then I'm just gonna focus this 8N811 really on the top part of the wig, mainly on the frontal. I didn't wanna buy too many colors because this could get really pricey. Um, well, a color charm coloring thing is like ten dollars per box, um, so that's why I only bought two. So I'm just focusing this 8N811 on the frontal part of the wig. Um, this is the darkest color out of the two, and yeah, I just focused on the top part and just putting it all over, and then whatever is left after me putting it on the front hole, I'll just put it on the rest of the hair, but I didn't really have enough to cover the whole wig with this, so again, I just mainly focused this color on the top, and then you'll see it'll start to uh, change colors to purple, and then now I'm mixing the 9N 911. I'm putting that everywhere else I didn't get to put the first color on, um, I know in my previous Ash Blonde video, I used like seven different colors. Um, this time I decided to try just two. So I ended up just dunking the wig in that little cup full of the color, just making sure it's saturated. Um, I'm just experimenting also. I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out, but after I coated all the hair in it, I left it on for 20 minutes and then I will rinse it out and wash it with purple shampoo and conditioner again. Um, and just make sure all that color is out. And then this is how it looks. You can see it's a big difference than what it looked like before. There's really no yellow tones and it's more of an ash sand blonde especially on the top the top is more ash blonde because it's more darker and like a little dirty blonde in a way um and this is how it looks after it air dried this hair was really thick um especially at the roots so this was like a day plus after like this is actually air drying for like a day and a half and you can clearly see those roots are still damp so i had to go in and blow dry it and yeah, so I just blow dry each section and then I went in with my heat protecting spritz, which I use way too much of and you'll be able to see at the end. It looked kind of oily because I put too much, so don't use too much of this. But yeah, I just use this. I love this spray. Um, and then I just straighten the wig um, all throughout and you'll be able to see how it looks after. So you can clearly tell the difference with the color. So on the back, it's more of just like a regular blonde. Um, and then on the top, it's more like an ash blonde. So those are the two difference, differences between the two colors I used because I used the 8N11 on the top and then I used the 9N911 on the bottom. Um, so yeah, and I just realized that the 9N911 color that I used, the actual color box I used was meant for gray hair. And I did not know that, but whatever, it still worked out. I think the end result was really pretty. Here's how it looks after it all being straightened out. Um, the hair was still really pretty shiny, soft, and everything. Now this hair 
here's the cons I have about the hair. The hair did shed. It wasn't like excessive shedding, but it wasn't minimal shedding, you know? So it was shedding, um, I don't wanna say a lot, but it shed. Um, and then another con I had with the wig was that the wig was entirely too small. This is not for big heads big head girls at all um this wig was so small on my head i couldn't even get the other side of the front to fit me so i just had to make it work um so that's why it might look a little bulky on me that's just because the wig did not fit my head all the way i could not get it over my entire head um so yeah that was just the bad part about it here's how it looks uh like the next day you can see how oily it looks because i put way too much of the product on but yeah here's the end result go check this out on my instagram and if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up comment subscribe and i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys